The November election is less than three weeks away, and today we're taking a closer look at the U.S. House race to represent California's 51st Congressional District. Now, it covers La Mesa, El Cajon, Lemon Grove, and Claremont. Incumbent Democrat Sarah Jacobs is being challenged by businessman Stan Kaplan, who's a Republican in this race, to represent the 51st Congressional District. And Sarah Jacobs joins us now in studio. She's currently representing the 53rd Congressional District and is now running for re-election in California's 51st district. I think we have that straightened out. Welcome to Fox 5 News. Thank you so much for being here. I know you want to watch the Padres game just like we do, but uh, we appreciate your time. Tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and why you're running for re-election. Maybe people don't know. Yeah, well, thanks so much for having me, even in the middle of the Padres yeah. game. So I'm a third generation San Diegan, born and raised, went to local public schools, and then worked at the State Department and the UN. And it has been my real honor to serve San Diego in Congress for the past two years. And it would be my honor to continue doing that for the next two years. And you know, San Diego has given me and my family so much. And so I really feel like it's my responsibility to give back and make sure every kid in San Diego has the kinds of opportunities that I was given. And I feel like I have a real track record of delivering over the last two years with the Inflation Reduction Act, the American Rescue Plan, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill, the first uh, gun violence prevention legislation since I was in elementary school. Uh, and I really look forward to continuing that progress and serving the people of California's 51st district. Let me ask you about inflation again, because as we all know, everything is so expensive now. We've got gas, food, housing. Housing. What do you plan to do to address this issue, not only on the federal level, but to help people right here in San Diego? Yeah, look, even before the inflation numbers that we're seeing, the cost of living here in San Diego was too high for too many families. So as you know, before I came to Congress, I started San Diego for Every Child, which was a coalition to address childhood poverty here in San Diego. And basically, when you talk to families here in San Diego, even before the pandemic, even before the inflation that we're seeing, the cost of housing, the cost of health care, the cost of child care were unaffordable for so many families. And that's why the inflation we're seeing now is impacting people so much. And so we're we're getting after this at the federal level. We passed the Inflation Reduction Act that's going to bring down the cost of prescription drugs. That's going to address the cost of energy. The House has passed a number of bills that will address the high cost of gas, the high cost of food. President Biden has released oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Uh, and I'm going to keep working to make sure that families across America don't have to pay more than 7% of their income on child care. And we continue addressing these big ticket items that are really the issue for families here. You know, last night your opponent, Stan Kaplan, was here and he talked about public safety and how this is a key issue in this campaign. How do you think you can make San Diego safer? Yeah, look, at the federal level, we are working to make sure that cities and municipalities have the resources that they need. Uh, we passed bills in the House that will make sure that small police departments like the city of La Mesa's police department have funding for training, uh, that we are providing more funding for mental health, for outreach to make sure that survivors of crime have the resources they need to be able to get the care that they need. Uh, and we are continuing to figure out what more we can do from the federal level to address this issue. Very quickly, what should voters, you know, why should they cast their ballot for you and not for your opponent? Your opponent would like to see you debate each other, but, uh, you know, what about that? Why should they vote for you? I have a track record of delivering for the people of San Diego, both before I got to Congress and over the last two years. I have served this community uh, through San Diego for Every Child, through my work in the federal government and at the UN. Uh, and I believe that we have been able to do so much over the, ne the last two years, and there's so much more work to be done. And it would be my real honor to continue representing San Diego in Congress. All right, Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, thank you so much. Wish you the best of luck in the campaign and, of course, on election night. Thank you. Go Padres. There you go. Let's hope they win tonight. All right, thank you so much.